It's favorites time again, starting with the beauty category. I am obsessed with coral, and my favorite product at the moment is the ColourPop Costa Coral Eyeshadow Palette. Look at how beautiful it is. I love how all of the colors here are actually really wearable. You can definitely put together a very fall, winter friendly look with these darker shades here. This matte shade is perfect to set the base of your eye, but if you want a pop of color, like today I did use a little bit of this beautiful kind of a pinkish coral shade on my eye. Along the coral theme, I've also been obsessed with ColourPop Super Shop Shadows, specifically in this shade called It's A Vibe. I highly recommend the formulation of the Super Shock Shadow. You can wear this as a single shadow, but I also like to put it on top of my existing eye makeup to just give a little bit of that shimmer, but not too much. And it does stay on my eyes all day. Moving to a base product, because it was quite humid, quite hot over the past few months, I have been really gravitating towards a matte foundation. So this is an OD but Goody, the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Foundation. I have it in the shade 103 and I love that this foundation is so compact and it does really help my face stay matte pretty much for majority of the day I will say and I do have combination towards oily skin especially in the summertime. The next product unfortunately shattered as I was taking all of my favorites out but I anyways had barely any left. It is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I think this is in the shade 003 Natural which is pretty much a translucent shade. I do think they have translucent version of this and this is Last time I checked, it was only like $3.50 on Amazon. This in combination with the L'Oreal Pro Matte, your face will be so mattified if you are annoyed by the T-zone oils, especially throughout the day. These two products truly will last all day. Moving on to lip products, I am obsessed with, first of all, look at this beautiful packaging. This is the ColourPop Hello Kitty Glowing Lip Kit. As you can see, it's a lip balm, but also like a smooth lipstick type of formulation. I am currently wearing the shade Tropic Cute, a corally shade that actually has pretty good color staying power. You would think that for something that is so balmy it would just be wiped off right away I don't actually find that being the case and also it is extremely moisturizing the next one is a little dupe that I found but they are both really affordable so not necessarily one duping another and this is from Evio Beauty. I've never heard of this brand before, so I don't know how long they've been around, but I really love the sleek packaging of this little lip gloss. So the Dover applicator is also really easy to use. As you can see, again, this beautiful kind of corally nudie shade that reminds me of my all-time lip gloss favorite shade, which is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. So even from the packaging, as you can see, the colors are really, really similar. They have pretty much the same formulation, same feels on my lips. And I specifically like the Evio Beauty one because it is so small and compact and it actually is easier to use because the wand here is so long and it fits in all of my handbags so I love to travel with this guy. Next is my all-time favorite sunscreen which is the Copper Tome Ultra Guard SPF 50 that is water resistant. I believe this is a limited edition packaging, but you can buy these from Amazon. This is the best feeling body sunscreen I've 
ever tried. The texture is really almost like watery and it feels really nice on your skin and it blends out really nicely. It doesn't leave white cast. I've used this eyeliner for years now and it's still my favorite and it is the Herring Make Eyeliner. I believe this is a Japanese brand and it is quite famous. It's their waterproof formula. It has a really nice felt tip. I have been using this to do my winged eyeliner for years now. So easy to use, also beginner friendly, and because of the waterproof formula, it does not smudge at all. And I have really oily eyelids, so if I use normal eyeliner pencil or just not great quality liquid eyeliner, they will 100% budge on my eyes, but I've never had issue with the Herring Make one, and it is super affordable as well. I'm obsessed with nail polishes, so of course we got some nail polish favorites. This first one is from Zoya. It's a beautiful orange shade. It is called Arizona, and I just love that this is not a really obnoxious neon orange but it's still vibrant enough that the color payoff is really great if you have any nail color that you have in your head that you want i bet you zoya has the exact shade that you want so highly just recommend zoya the brand for nail polish it i find that zoya works a little better than your traditional etsy or opi with similar pricing speaking of your traditional nail polish brand i do enjoy this opi it is a nail strengthener and it's in the shade bubble bath and it is what i am wearing right now I just love how natural it makes my nails look. It almost has a little bit of like a jelly effect. It goes with any type of silver or gold jewelry, so really versatile. Although because it is a nail strengthener, I did have to, I think, apply three or four coats to get this more opaque payoff. The fragrance of the quarter, and I think for rest of the year for me, has to be Zara Red Temptation. This is supposedly the dupe for the MFK Baccarat Rouge 540. I did try the MFK one in store, and while they're not completely identical to my nose, they are close enough that I am definitely happy with my much, 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 much cheaper version from Zara. Although I will say that, of course, the original MFK version is um, stronger and it lasts a little bit longer on my skin but this is pretty good I would say especially because it is a rollerball so you can just throw this in your handbag and reapply as the day goes on and this scent if you live in New York City I feel like every time I walk on the street I smell at least one person that's wearing either the Zara Red Temptation or the MFK Baccarat Rouge 540, especially in Soho. So I guess it is no longer a niche scent, it is quite mainstream, but I just love how warm and cozy it makes me feel. It almost reminds me of similar feeling that I get when I wore Glossier U. Even though they're completely different scents, they do give me kind of similar vibes of that warm, a little floral, a little musky, a little powdery, sweet, but not sickly sweet. It just gives me all of the warm and cozy feeling. I can see that this could be a really great staple for the fall winter time. Moving on to fashion, my first favorite is this black cutout dress from mango of course you can't see what it looks like but i did have a video styling this particular dress with five different ways with five different pairs of shoes the fabric is really comfortable it is almost a little bit sheer but because it is black um, you can actually see through it so it's really breathable fabric and i love the big flare at the bottom with these slits on both sides so a lot of the attention to detail and then of course my favorite is the cutout 
on the back. It feels sexy without looking too sexy and you can actually really easily take it to the fall transitional season if you throw like a chunky cardigan over or like a big sweater over. This next one I've styled a summer white outfits video but I actually think this piece is great for transitional weather as well. I wore this yesterday to my friend's birthday. It is a knitted crochet type of flare mini dress with scallop at the bottom and this again reminds me of that Chanel girl I just really being obsessed with the combination of cream and black even though it's a very classic shape and design with the crochet material it just adds more texture to your outfit and it makes your outfit look interesting without even trying my next favorite is in the exact same color combo the black and cream this is a tweed jacket from Zara is not so structured and it is really easy to use as a layering piece whether it's over something or even underneath a bigger blazer or coat in the fall winter time different from your traditional kind of flannel texture of your jackets this is in a tweed material so it just adds something more interesting to your outfit but you still look very effortlessly chic the next is a corset top from from Revolve. I love dressing down corset tops because you would normally think, oh, it's a corset top. I can only wear it going out or there are just not that many occasions for someone to style a corset top. But if you layer this under a blazer, pair this with a pair of white leg pants, which I will talk about in a little bit, you can actually create more interesting looks with corset tops. I'm excited to wear this over maybe like a sheer long sleeve top or a super tight long sleeve knit with this corset top in the upcoming seasons. Another top that's also great for layering is this Zara bodysuit. My favorite part is the spaghetti strap as well as the square neckline. I think this is the most flattering neckline, probably most forgiving neckline if you are a lover of necklaces this square neckline would suit pretty much any type of necklaces that you have whether it's dainty or really statementy and if you don't know this trick yet which I did talk about in my must-have bra video you know how these bodysuits I don't know if it's always the case with other brands but all of the Zara bodysuits tend to have this inner layer so what I do instead of wearing a bra underneath or go braless because it still shows so I don't really want to go braless with a bodysuit like this I take one of the kind of bra paddings from my an old bra that I don't wear anymore and I basically just stick this in between the two layers of the bodysuit. So it basically looks like a built-in bra bodysuit. And don't worry about anything sliding down or securing it in between the layers. When you have it on your body, and I've worn this top so many times to guarantee you that this thing will not fall out and it is actually really comfortable. The next top is a linen boxy shirt from Primark. It definitely gives me the um, Chanel like oversized cropped boxy shirt vibe but without the really loud logo it is actually really really versatile goes with especially pants or shorts it's not only great to wear on its own but also great to wear as a layering piece if you have like a strappy top underneath for transitional season i'm loving this top that i'm wearing now from princess polly love these pearl design and the little cutoff in the front I styled this top in my fall outfit formula video as well. Love pieces that you can really take from season to season. So even though I was wearing this in, I would say, late summer a lot, I think continue into fall and winter, I can still keep wearing this as the inner layer. I love how this looks underneath blazers or even like puffer jackets. It just first of all it feels so soft and cozy and so it definitely carries out that cozy vibes in the colder season another great transitional pieces are these full leather whether it's a skirt 
or a pair of faux leather shorts. I love both of them equally and they both feel like actual real leather. Brands these days are doing such a great job making faux leather really high quality. This first one is from Mango and the shorts are from Zara but many other brands do them. I love wearing this top with these um, shorter faux leather pieces. You can also so easily wear something like a cozy cardigan, cozy sweater and wear tight underneath if the weather gets colder. The y like pants that I talked about a couple of times in a video are these ones that I also got from Primark and this was also included in the fall outfit formula video. You can get these again anywhere but I just really love this kind of khaki green shade. It's not like a too yellowy olive green which doesn't suit my skin tone. I really love the neutral khaki green color. It is extremely comfortable and so flattering because it's high-waisted and it goes down a little bit wider so it just makes your waist look tiny and really elongates your leg. The next pair of pants are these linen pants, sorry, also from Primark. I did quite a big Primark trip at the beginning of summer but I've really been loving all these pieces. And linen pants, again, I've seen H&M launching quite a few different designs so you can still get them and they are so affordable but so high quality because as you can see, linen naturally just gives off a very expensive vibe with the texture that is different from your cotton or polyester pants. And it just is a comfortable pair of pants that you feel chic in, but you're also extremely comfortable in. It's treading the lines of loungewear and you know, more elevated, effortless wear. A fashion accessory piece I've been obsessing with is my Jimmy Choo sunglasses. It is a very old style. I got this from Bloomingdale's outlet like at least three or four years ago. So I don't know if they have the exact same style on, but I love the frame of this style and the little bit of sparkle at the frame, it has little Jimmy Choo writing. I only have two pairs of sunglasses. The first pair was the Key Australia one that I talked about in maybe my very first quarterly favorites video. And this is my second pair. And that's it. I only need two pairs of sunglasses. The first pair of shoes I've been loving is this pair of Tory Burch leather espadrille mules. Um, this is an old style but I have found some similar versions. I love, again, black and cream. Maybe this should be the theme of today's video. Anything that is that Oreo color combination, I love. Again, gives me Chanel vibes, looks expensive, feels comfortable. What else can I say? I can also easily take this from summer to fall. Two pairs of Vivaya shoes I've really been loving. The first pair is my all-time favorite sneaker. I talked about this in my shoe must-have video and I have recently washed this so it looks all brand new again. If you don't know, all of Vivaya's products are sustainable. They're made from plastic bottles and they're also machine washable. And I believe I still have a discount code with Vivaya's. These shoes are so comfortable. I've worn them for a little over a year now. I will continue to wear them until the day they break, which like it's actually for the amount of times I wore them, they've held up really, really well. A newer pair in my collection is the Vivaya Pointed Toe Flats. Ballet flats are back in, but I am not a fan of the traditional round toe ballet flats. And I have very sweaty feet. So if I wear a normal pair of flats, they will definitely stink at the end of the day. But this particular pair is made with hemp, as it says on the sole, this is truly odorless. Like it absorbs any odor. 
I've worn this quite a few times and it doesn't smell like anything. And I even feel like it has that sweat absorbent power as well. So even throughout the day, my feet don't feel sweaty or anything. And they are so comfortable with all the right cushions at the right spot. And the material is this knitted material that you can also throw in the washing machine. Just really beautiful neutral piece that goes with pretty much any outfit. I love how they look with pants and I can definitely keep wearing them in the fall season. Another fashion accessory is my tweed cap pairing with my tweed little bag from H&M. They've been featured in a couple of recent videos already so I won't butcher too much but Again, this cream and black color combination. Clearly, I was just going for that Chanel Lady vibe over the past quarter, and I will continue doing that moving forward because they just make any outfit look so cool, so chic. I love how sturdy the tweed material is. I feel really elegant even though they are actually extremely affordable. So they're still available on H&M. I would highly, highly, highly recommend grabbing them before they sell out. I have to say, all of my bag favorites are in pretty much the same shape. I'm clearly obsessed with these more structured or squared or rectangled um, bag shapes. This one is from Tory Burch. It is a monogram rectangular little tote with a crossbody strap which we love that's adjustable detachable i just really love this size it is really easy to hold your essentials and yes it is basically just one big opening but because it is a little bit deeper than your traditional you know square shaped totes i don't find anything falling out and i just love how like it's very compact so it doesn't look too bulky on me it wears really well the material is like this coated canvas that is pretty much waterproof weatherproof it definitely gives me that louis vuitton sling you know rectangular mini tote vibes this next one is from mango and it reminds me of the famous telfar mini totes but i actually don't really like the how the logo of Telfar looks so I'm actually really glad that I found this with a much more affordable pricing and it's much easier to buy than the Telfar one many high street brands are doing these so I think recently I saw a very very similar one on H&M super affordable I love how much it can hold because the full leather is so soft and supple and there is magnetic closure so you don't have to worry about things falling out you can wear this as a top handle or i love to wear this as a crossbody because the length is just perfect it hits right at my waist i styled this in my fall outfit formula video as well and this color it's also just perfect for like imagine wearing this in the Christmas season so cute moving to home starting with the bedroom I want to recommend this silk sleeping mask many brands sell them but I love to wear these really almost like puffy soft silk sleeping mask I've tried the Amazon like blackout sleeping mask before but I've recently started using the silk one and it's just a lot more comfortable and it feels so nice, feels so luxurious, it lasts a long time. I found an even more luxurious feeling one from Lunia that is really kind of plush and they are washable silk as well so you can throw them in the washer. My next favorite is this fishbone cactus that we got from The Sill ever since we moved into this new apartment and it's grown quite significantly. Very very easy to care for. It is also pet friendly. I just love the beautiful scalloped leaves of this plant it's so so cute and it matches perfectly with this plant pot that i got from ikea i haven't found it on the ikea website so maybe check your local ikea to see if they have it 
but it is so gorgeous i just think this is a very cute plant to have and as it grows more and kind of drapes more it can even be used as a hanging plant as well i am no plant expert at all and in fact one of our plants is like was on the verge of dying but i think it's uh, surviving at the moment so for someone who like doesn't know what they're doing with plants this is a really really great option easy to keep alive for jewelry i've been really loving my little bracelet set with the tory birch gold watch with this rose gold kind of tennis bracelet from amazon and my tiffany the classic return to tiffany silver bracelet i've talked about all of these in my bracelet collection video i love that i'm mixing all colors of metals i have gold i have rose gold and i have silver why not i love to play with my jewelry stacking especially around my arm area before it gets so cold that you can't even see what you're wearing on your arm so really really loving this combination especially this gold watch just looks so expensive luxurious but also adds a pop of something especially if you wear a black and cream outfit i also love this vintage chanel necklace set that i got from second life jewel talked about this in my necklace collection video that they basically turn the chanel charms or old buttons and added their own chains to turn them into necklaces so i really love how this is you know from real authentic chanel pieces but it is something that's really unique not everybody has and it's been holding up really well i love pairing this with simple outfits especially something like this v neckline or a square neckline or like a high crew neck to make these necklaces shine another one that i love is from arsis this beautiful daisy flower organic pearl necklace that i have actually styled this as a bracelet as well as anklet in one of my what i wore in a week video just really love the organic shapes of the pearl but also the floral design and the quality has been really good it has not tarnished at all i wore this quite often this summer i think it'll continue to be a staple when i style my knitwear in the fall winter time another jewelry piece also from arsis are these pearl pendant earrings love my pro accessories unless you can't tell and they just look so expensive so luxurious they go with everything and i just really love that it almost looks like a little door handle and the pro just dangles as you wear it it just makes your um, pearl earrings even more interesting the earrings i'm wearing now this moissanite drop earrings are also my recent favorite they are just so great to wear every day they go with everything and i really just don't even feel like i'm wearing them because they're so lightweight but they gives off almost statement earring effects because of the moissanite shining brighter than diamond i have three book recommendations the first one is never let me go by kazuo ishiguro it is a novel that really makes you question what is humanity and how much nurture versus nature matters in shaping someone as a person and it also touches on the concepts of feeling loss or helplessness it is quite a delicate emotion to experience and i really think after reading this novel it just makes me appreciate the life that i have now a lot more the next one is also a novel counterfeit by christine chen this novel when i was listening to the first half i was like oh that's just like a you know your typical novel nothing special about it but oh my god as soon as you get into the second half you would not believe the plot twist and i'm obviously not going to spoil it for you but it is a novel about counterfeit products and it really makes you 
think about how your morale can be twisted and shaped. Uh, depending on the context, it is such a page turner, especially towards the second half of the novel. The next one is another novel. It is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. This is not a new novel by any means. I feel like it's been around for at least years and it is quite a long one. But I will say that it almost just creates a magical world for you and I don't even remember what the exact plot points are. What I enjoy the most is actually the process of listening to this novel. It almost gives me the same kind of vibes as I was reading Harry Potter. I want to read the actual book again to further relive that magical experience. I can barely open my eyes now because the sun is really coming in after <laughs> sitting here talking for I think the entire morning. So I will leave you here and hope to see you in one of these ones. Bye!